So let's start with the protected mode memory addressing. In the previous tutorial, we have discussed the real mode memory addressing. So in this tutorial, we will see what are the benefits of using protected mode. Now in real mode, we know that the microprocessor will access or has is restricted to access only the first one megabyte of memory space. In protected mode, uh, in this mode, it allows the microprocessor to access all the data, to access all data and as well as some programs that are located, located above the first megabyte of memory. So unlike real mode, it can access the data and programs that are located above the first n megabyte of memory. Not only that, it can access, so as well as within the first within the first one megabyte of memory so it can also ac access the data and programs that are in the first one megabyte of the memory so that's the first difference between the protected mode and real mode memory addressing we know in memory addressing the microprocessor tries to allocate or assigns the logical addresses to the memory space. In real mode, we have segment registers. So in real mode, in the segment registers, we have segment addresses and these segment addresses are used by the microprocessor to access the memory. So in very simple words, the microprocessor can access the memory directly using these segment addresses stored in the segment registers. Now segment registers are fixed. You cannot change the segment registers. So in protected mode, segment registers are there, but segment addresses are not there. So one major difference is that the segment address, the segment address is no longer present in the, is not present in this type of mode, which is the protected mode. So segment address is not present. So how will the microprocessor assign or address the memory space. So segment address was allowing the microprocessor to access the memory directly. So instead of providing the segment address in the segment registers, we provide it with a selector. So I will draw a flow diagram here, which will help you understand this concept. So in the segment register, I will write SR in the segment register we have a selector. So this selector, what it does is it selects, it selects a descriptor. It selects a descriptor. And there are two into 8192 descriptors total number of descriptors in the 8086 memory addressing microprocessor so in the segment register instead of having the segment addresses we have selectors we have the segment register has 
selectors and what does a selector do it selects a descriptor and this descriptor is actually present in a descriptor table so i'm going to write here from a descriptor table so now we have a segment register we have a selector which will select a descriptor from a descriptor table so there will be a table which contain these many descriptors so what is exactly a descriptor that is the question so a descriptor is what describes or gives the description of the memory segment so descriptor table or a descriptor i'm going to write here a descriptor describes a memory segment so there are actually three things or you can say three descriptions that is assigned to get a memory segment and these three are the first one is the location so a description descriptor will contain the location of the memory segment that the microprocessor wants to address or access the second will be the length of that segment because it's not necessarily that the length of the segment will be only 64 kilobytes and the last one and the important one is the access rights now since this is protected memory there are access rights in the descriptor table so let's see how this works so first the microprocessor will try to access the segment register in the segment register it will find a selector and that selector will be pointing to some descriptor and now the descriptor will give three information which is location length and access rights so if the descriptor says that you are not allowed to write into this segment that means that the access right is not granted then the microprocessor will not be able to write something into the memory we can also use access rights for various purposes now we will study a whole to there will be a whole tutorial dedicated to the access rights byte now this is actually a byte and it contains some special symbols or special bits that specifies the access rights and we will study this in detail as of now we know that in protected memory we are actually protecting a particular segment from the microprocessor to directly access it so that is a major difference between real mode and protected mode so we have studied some differences and we now know why protected memory is useful now there is one more important difference and that difference comes in the microprocessor which are above 80386 and above which includes pentium processors core 2 processors i3 processors and etc so the difference is that now the offset address offset address which is actually used to locate a particular instruction within a byte so it can be a 32 bit number 
instead of a 16 bit number in the protected mode specifically in the protected mode in the next video we are going to study about briefly about selectors and descriptors so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching